Hello everyone and good evening. You are looking at a live view of the Fusion 2 rocket as it awaits its liftoff from the National Space Center in just 5 minutes from now. My name is Christopher Brown and I'm a propulsions engineer for the ELS engine program. Today marks our 11th launch of the year and our first commercial launch of Fusion 2. Just a month ago we launched the first Fusion 2 rocket which successfully put our special time capsule containing Barnaby the Bear onto a path which would bring it within 100 kilometers of Sai Luro. A secondary goal for that mission was to attempt a soft splashdown of the first stage which as you may remember did not go according to plan. We determined that hydraulic fluid responsible for controlling the gimbling of the engines was leaking out due to the catastrophic failure of one of the EOLUS engines shortly before stage separation. Teams have since implemented changes to the vehicle to improve the safety and reliability of the EOLUS engines and have added additional protection to various systems in the engine section. Today's mission is carrying two satellites so let's take a look at them in detail. The Space Debris Removal Experiment was designed and built by the DK Space Agency with the intention of demonstrating the controlled deorbit of a dead satellite in low drew orbit. The mission has been named, It's Crowded Up Here, and will be sent into a 300 km orbit at an 85 degree inclination. We will need to do two relights of the second stage to get this payload into the correct orbit due to the required orbit for our other payload which we will look at now. Telecom Demo Sat is a telecommunications demonstration satellite designed and built by Agnite Space. If successful this payload will help develop the future of space communications in low drill orbit. This payload will be deployed first as it will be in a lower 250 km orbit at an 86.5 degree inclination. Second stage propellant loading complete. You just heard that we have loaded all the propellant on the second stage for today's mission. In just over two minutes you should hear the callout for propellant loading being completed on the first stage. After that you'll see a T-1 minute purge vent. This is to remove any excess propellant from the propellant lines. Teams do have an optional hold gate 30 seconds before liftoff in case they need to perform additional checkouts before proceeding with the launch but it is looking like everything is going well and we should not need it. As a reminder of what to expect today. At T0 we should see all 14 EOLUS engines ignite on the first stage and the vehicle will lift off with 895 tons of thrust. After ascending for a little over 2 minutes the vehicle will shut down those engines and separate the second stage. While the second stage uses its two EOLUS vacuum engines to head into space the booster will flip around and ignite six engines for a boost back to a selected landing site in the ocean. We want to test the accuracy of landing before actually trying it on land. As the second stage gets close to space we'll see the fairing separate. This will expose our payloads to the vacuum of space. The second stage will burn for about three and a half minutes before entering a four minute coast phase. After this coast phase will burn one more time for about 20 seconds to insert the vehicle into a 250 km orbit. We will then bring our coverage to a close. Booster propellant loading complete. Alright that wraps up propellant loading on the vehicle. We should see that purge vent in around 10 seconds. We are currently go for launch and we'll see you after liftoff. Proceed past optional hold gate. Twenty seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 8, 
two, one. Engines full power. We have liftoff. Vehicle pitching down range. All right, we can see all 14 Eolus engines have lit. The vehicle has cleared the pad and is now on its way to space. Next up is max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Eolus chamber pressures nominal. Acquisition of signal site 6. There are some views from our onboard cameras. What an amazing sight as Fusion 2 heads to space. First stage power and telemetry nominal. Max Q. There we go Fusion 2 has passed the area of peak mechanical stress on the way to space. In just over a minute we'll see multiple events take place. We'll see the shutdown of the first stage. Separation and ignition of the second stage. Seconds after we'll see the first stage begin its boost back burn for a landing in the ocean. of signal sites one. First stage chamber pressures nominal. Miko. Stage separation. Second stage, good ignition. And there we have the second stage on its way to space. Boost back startup. Fairing separation confirmed. Unbelievable views. The booster is now on its way to the landing site and you can see the fairings have separated from the second stage. Second stage telemetry nominal. Stage two chamber pressures nominal. Both vehicles still look good so far. Boost back shutdown. All right, the booster has now ended its burn. It'll now enter a coast phase for around two and a half minutes. At around the 50 kilometers mark we should see the entry burn which will slow the vehicle down just a little bit to minimize thermal and aerodynamic loads. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Continuing to hear great callouts. The booster is still on path for a splashdown in the OSHA.
entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn slowing the vehicle down just a little bit. This burn should last around 25 seconds. Entry burn shut down. Second stage nominal trajectory. Okay. Stage 2 is now entering its coast phase and the first stage still continues to be in a healthy descent. We should see that landing burn in around 40 seconds. We'll ignite 6 engines on the first stage and go down to 4 engines after a few seconds. Around 10 seconds from splashdown we should see the four landing legs at the base of the vehicle open up. Let's hope the booster survives. You can see those fins at the top of the booster guiding it through the atmosphere. Stage 1 landing burn. Looks like we lost signal there. We don't have any information right now, but we'll try get it to you when we can. As of now we are around 2 minutes away from the relight of the second stage. This burn shouldn't last any longer than 20 seconds. Acquisition of signal north base. Expected loss of signal site 6. We're just hearing over the comms that we did lose the first stage during today's landing attempt. This is okay as it wasn't the primary mission and we'll learn from what happened today to make the next attempt better. We're about a minute away from that relight of the second stage engines. Everything continues to look nominal at this time. We're about 10 seconds away from that burn now. Second stage ignition. And there we have it. Fusion 2 is now putting itself into the correct orbit. Seco. Nominal orbital insertion. That'll bring our live coverage of the launch to an end. We'd like to congratulate the teams on the success of today's mission so far and we wish them good luck on the next phase of the flight which will involve another relight.
Thank you for joining us and have a great day wherever you are in the world. We hope to see you next time.